Ladies and gentlemen, can I please have your attention? Oh, fish on that. I've just been handed no. an urgent and horrifying news story. And I need all of you to stop what you're doing and listen. Welcome back guys to a brand new video. We're out here fishing here. It's the day after Thanksgiving. Happy Thanksgiving guys. I'm at a random lake that one of the subscribers recommended it to me here in Central Florida. We're currently in fall season. Last time I went fishing was probably September, August, about two months ago. Haven't fished in October and we're currently at the end of November. Currently 9.30 in the morning right now. Temperature wise it's 75 degrees. The highest is going to be it's 85 so it's a perfect day. Uh, winds right now, I believe it's less than 5 miles per hour winds right now. Um, the high it's going to be 9, 9 miles per hour wind. So it's a perfect day out to go fishing here in the Friday morning. You know, hopefully there's some fish out here. I've seen some fish jumping. Um, they're probably chasing some bait. Um, you know, hopefully there's some nice fish out here. You know, less talking. Hopefully, you know, we're able to catch that 5 pounder we're looking for. Little quick update guys, <sighs> I'm kind of disappointed. The audio on the GoPro wasn't working at all since I got here. So I always check the audio if it's working on the microphone. I have an external microphone connected to the GoPro. I have the Hero 5 because the mic the mic on the on the GoPro is not the best. And um, it's when there's a lot of wind, you hear all these wind noises. It's not the best. So I have an external microphone connected to it. And so every time I always check that it's, if it's working properly. And I it was working properly, but I guess it got disconnected somehow to the attachment I have on the GoPro. And so all the all that footage from the first cast the second catch the audio wasn't working at all and so I'm kind of disappointed hopefully yeah enjoy the video though I'm probably gonna do a little voiceover in the beginning of the video trying to talk to y'all what trying to figure out what I was trying to tell y'all guys and and hopefully that helps but I'm still gonna put those two first two catches on the video and you know oh well it is what it is all right guys sorry about the audio guys but at this clip i was looking at what bait to use i was using talking about the twick worm zoom june bug color so that was the bait of the day the whole day and so i started off at this spot right here at the other side of the lake and went all around all the way to the other side of the lake it was pretty juicy out there i threw some casts wasn't catching any bites at all in the morning uh continued fishing was switching to a jerk bait chatter bait and nothing wasn't getting any luck the bite was pretty slow um, there's a few boats out there as well we went to this juicy area it was pretty juicy there's a lot of dead branches um, trees that fell over I guess from the hurricane uh, did some flipping as well was using the twig worm didn't have any luck was fishing really slow throughout the whole area there's a whole long stretch of branches every trees everything so I was trying to catch up giant out there trying to see if there's any big fish but it was pretty nice i feel like i'll come back during the spring as well in this area it looks pretty juicy i continue flipping this is when i switched off to the guggen based nuke so i did some flipping with that wasn't having any luck as you can see there's a lot of juicy areas around this area so i really like this area there's a lot of mosquitoes too uh, so i had to move quickly out of there uh, wasn't catching anything so i switched off to the old monster by zoom trying to see if that works out wasn't catching anything a lot as you can see i was smacking the mosquitoes out of the way and so wasn't having any luck at all i seen fish moving around but don't know if they weren't hungry or if there was any fish at that spot or at this spot anyways but didn't have any luck so i continue fishing around the lake um these these areas there's pretty nice houses out here and so we went to this spot right here this is where i caught my first fish there's some audio that works but it was from the other GoPro, so audio audio is not really clear compared to the external audio I have. And so this is where I caught the first fish right here. See, look, look, oh, oh, it jumped out of the water too. You can't really hear the audio because of the GoPro. It wasn't the audio from the chest GoPro. It was the audio from the other GoPro that's facing towards me. And so the distance, I was pretty far away for it. So I'm pretty sure it wasn't capturing good audio. But at least I had some audio. But you know, it was a nice fish right there. That was the first one of the day. I, I was also being a little quiet as well because there's literally like a boat like 10 feet away behind me as well. So I was kind of shy. I didn't really want to talk on the camera. Water. 
nice first one, nice chocolate there. Oh so, yeah, man. First one of the day, guys. It's a nice two pound bash right there. I had it on a speedworm, reeled it in on some grass, top water action. He hit it, ate it like a top water. He fought pretty hard. Put a little nice chunker right here. I'm a little quiet because there's boats around me and uh, you know, kind of nervous with recording myself in front of other people. And so that's the reason why I'm a little quiet right now. But hell yeah, guys. Hell yeah. Nice size chunk right here, guys. First one of the day. So, yeah, guys. Top water action, right? Yeah. Take a little picture and let him go. Hell yeah, guys. Hell yeah. Letting the fish go. The water's pretty clear. The fish was pretty healthy. It was a nice, decent size. Two pound bass right there. There he goes. Continuing on flipping as well throughout the bank. I just, but later on, I noticed that the bank was pretty shallow. Started continuing using the speed worm, wasn't catching anything. I think it was around like an hour later until I caught the second fish. This is a spot where I caught him. It was a nice area, nice juicy area as well. Um, continue using the speed worm. Didn't change any baits. I think the speed worm was the bait that was catching fish. And so I think this is where I caught the second fish right here slowly right there he was literally didn't even feel him i thought i lost him the reason was is because he was fish he was swimming towards the boat and so i had some slack on the line but later on that's when i noticed i had him on and this time i did bring the net so didn't forget any net and I felt like the fish were, buying, were pulling pretty hard. These little small fish, they pull pretty hard. They keep thinking that you got a three pound or five pound bass, but it's just a little two pound bass right there. on that speed worm it's pretty windy i believe it's more than 10 miles per hour winds it's been windy all day so it's been tough moving the jumbo on the wind and so you know it's a struggle small boat in the wind it's not a good idea but you know still having a fun time out here still having a great time caught bass number two nice decent two pound bass right here they're really healthy at this lake and so i casted it and i noticed that he was swimming towards me had some slack on the line once he saw the boat he started swimming again started swimming towards the bank and so he fought pretty hard pretty decent sized fish it's a nice bass out here so a nice decent fish out here bass number two hopefully we're able to catch bass number three guys hell yeah Sheesh. hell yeah guys letting go the second fish of the day it's another two pound bass that we caught as you can see the water's pretty clear you can see the fish and he's swimming away and this is when i noticed that the mic wasn't working after this catch and so the audio should be working after this well guys gotta go through video on my gopro uh we just let the second fish of the day go we were able to catch two fish throughout the day and so the audio on my chest gopro i guess the mic wasn't connected correctly on the on the gopro and so I wasn't able to catch any audio from the beginning since we got here in the morning. And so all that audio is out. And so I'm probably going to do a little small recap, trying to figure out what I'm able to do for the video. Um, damn, it's kind of disappointing, but as long as I was able to catch it today, right now, not at the end of the day, luckily we're able to save some footage. From now on, the audio on the GoPro should be working. So it's kind of disappointing, all that footage with no audio. I think it's time for an upgrade, guys, because I have the Hero 5, GoPro Hero 5. 
they just came out with the 11 and so I'm probably gonna hopefully upgrade soon it's currently 2.46, it's about to be 3 p.m. Uh, the first catch was around noon, uh, the second catch was around 1.40, and so we got here at 9 in the morning, I think 9, 9.30 in the morning, and so it's still a perfect day. It's a little windy, it was worse earlier, the wind was pretty, pretty awful, but right now it's pretty good, it's really calm right now. Crossing fingers is, doesn't get too windy out here, but it's really calm. I'm still going to continue on fishing, hopefully for about two more hours, three more hours throughout the day, and hopefully we're able to catch that five pounder. Hopefully I'm enjoying the content of the video, and I'm sorry guys that the audio is not the best, but you know, I tried my best. And I didn't, probably didn't say in the beginning of the video, I'm at, at a lake here in Central Florida, I think near Winter Haven, Florida, or Eagle Lake, Florida. I'm going to check real quick on the maps. Okay, so... I checked on the maps. It's a lake in Central Florida near Eagle Lake and in between Eagle Lake and Winter Haven, Florida. But it's located in Eagle Lake, Florida. I believe it's a little small town. It's first time coming out here in this lake and so I recommend it guys. I already caught two bass. Hopefully I'm able to put those catches throughout the video. I'm going to continue on fishing. It's a little quick update. And like I said, if you have any other lakes that y'all know around Central Florida, just put them down in the comments below or any suggestions around Florida, Central Florida, anywhere in Florida. Just put them down below and I'll check them out but you know I'm gonna continue on fishing hopefully we're able to catch a little five pounder out here all right guys so since we the audio wasn't working on the GoPro so the beginning of the video we started on the other side of the lake and so I'll probably do some clips going through the other side of the lake we fished multiple areas um, there's a there's a nice juicy area over there there's a lot of structure right in front of me a lot of structure tree branches everything but luckily I wasn't able to catch anything. I did a lot of flipping. I used the twig worm. I used the um, zoom. I used the, the nuke by Guggenbaits. Tried to do some flipping out there. And then um, the speed worm as well. Tried it all around that area. Didn't have any luck. And so I started from all the way around there. Fished all these areas until we got to this area. So at this dock we got top water. So it was great action. He ate it top water. Hopefully y'all can see in the video the audio. There's no audio. I'm sorry guys. No audio at all and now we're here And so this is where I caught the second fish both fish were two pound bass. They were nice decent size I'm still using that speed worm by zoom June bug color. That's probably gonna be the bait of the day and so That's what I've been using throughout Central Florida. Like I said, I recorded it in the beginning of the video But I guess there's no audio June bug color here in Central Florida works. Anything that has to be June bug, Zoom, Twick worm, uh, Speed worm, uh, Sanko, June bug color. This is clear water and they're still eating that June bug color. So anything June bug color here in Central Florida, it works as well as the green pumpkin. Uh, I think it's the green pumpkin or the watermelon red by Zoom as well. That works perfectly out here in Central Florida. These baits work. It doesn't have to be Zoom. It could be other brands, but those colors work out here. And so this is the first time coming at this lake. I haven't fished it at all. And like I said, one of the subscribers told me about it. And I was like, you know what? Let me check it out. It's a little further from where I stay at. It's mostly in, close by in Winter Haven, Florida. So this is around Winter Haven, Florida. It's going towards Bartow, Florida. And so it's one of the lakes out here. There's multiple lakes down this uh, road. It's a busy highway. I think Highway 60 is all the way on that side. And so we're really close to Bartow area, but it's still Winter Haven area. Um, after December, my plan is to fish during the spring. Every weekend, make a video for you guys during the spring. I know last year, I know the beginning of the year of this year, um, in January, February, I did some videos, had some luck as well during the spring and as well during the fall of last year. And so my, my main goal is to do some videos for you guys this time of the season, because this is the time where the bass fishing is pretty decent it's pretty good compared to the summer continue fishing this spot this area it seems juicy this lake there's not a lot of structure the only spot i found structure was in the beginning of the video when i fished all the way over there there's a lot of branches a lot of trees that were knocked down by the hurricane but right now when i'm where i'm at there's not a lot of hydrilla there's no lily pads it's just really some grass points by the bank but that's pretty much it and you know it's a nice beautiful day guys it's a beautiful beautiful day Hopefully we're able to catch bass number three. Shouldn't be expecting any rain, but these two clouds right here, they're pretty dark. Crossing fingers, crossing fingers. Past two videos I've been getting soaked on. Hopefully this video I'm not. 
I'm not trying to get wet. I'm 100% during the spawn at this lake. It's pretty nice. There's a lot of like shallow areas around the bank. And so during the spawn, I think this is one of the lakes I'm probably going to go during the spawn. This lake, and I believe there's another lake that I went to during the spawn. That's a nice juicy area during the spawn. I don't know what lake exactly, but this is one of the lakes I'm probably going to hit during the spawn. Guarantee that there's going to be juicy, a lot of beds, because there's a lot of shallow areas where you could you could literally fish bed flip bed fish throughout the area and so this um, this is one of the lakes i'm probably gonna fish during the spawn oh, i got a fish on that another one another one another one guys third one hell yeah Feels a little smally, smally one. It's not as big as the other ones, I don't think so. But they're fighting, fighting pretty good though. They're fighting pretty good. Nah, it's a little small one compared to the other ones. I'm gonna boat flip them. Oh, some action right there. Come on, little guy. Hell yeah, guys. Third one of the day. Hopefully the audio is working this time. <laughs> Third one of the day, guys. Little squeaker right here. A little squeaker out here. Little healthy fish too. They're eating healthy. Don't see it as much parasites compared to other bass around Central Florida. But it's a nice healthy fish. Hell yeah guys, we gotta catch number four now. It's currently 314. So after noon, I guess the bite started started coming along afternoon. And so hell yeah, hopefully we're we'll catch bass number four. Um in a few minutes, my brother should be coming too. Hopefully he's able to catch a few fish as well. Hell yeah, guys. Number four. But all right, little guy, we're gonna let you go. Hopefully, hopefully we're able to catch some audio on this scope, bro. But bass number three, bass number three. Let this bad boy go. There you go, you can swim off. You can swim off, there he goes. Yes, sir. Ooh, that water feels good, good, it's nice. Nice, nice and cold. Like I said, guys. Zoom, speed worm, June bug color with a little small weight on their peg. It's juicy out here in Central Florida. Hell yeah, hell yeah. Just got a call from my brother. He's here. Go pick him up real quick and then we're gonna start. We're gonna continue on fishing. Nah, it's a little smally. Hell yeah. Number four, guys. It's that chiquito, boy. He's small. On that flipping action, senor. Hell yeah, guys. A little squeaker. It's not bad. You know, at least it's a bass. It's a fish. Fourth one of the day. Let's go. Hell yeah, guys. A nice juicy one. It's a little smally. Right now, there's a lot of structure. There's a lot of branches in the water. So I decided to do some, some flipping. I have a crack and crawl. I think it's crack and crawl. Benito bug, I mean. Uh, watermelon red from Guggen Squad. Guggen Baits. So I have that tied on. 
flipping around these these structured branches I was able to catch this one started all the way over there and I'm currently right now halfway through nice decent sized one hell yeah let's get it all right guys we're gonna let this bad boy go it's a little squeaker have fun goodbye hopefully you're big oh there he goes he swam away hell yeah come on Frank you got a fish <laughs> Well guys, it's the next day. I was going to do a part two on the same lake on Saturday morning. I did fish Saturday morning from 7 a.m. to noon. Only caught two bass. They're pretty small. Everybody on the lake wasn't catching anything. The bite was pretty slow. It was windy and cold as well. And so I decided not to add it on the video because I felt like the video was going to be too long and too boring for you guys. But we still had an amazing day on Friday morning. We caught two two-pounders and then two squeakers. But I'm happy with that. We still had a blast out there. Like I said, it's a random lake in Central Florida by Eagle Lake Florida it's one of the top lakes one of the lakes that's pretty clear out there I've never seen a lake that clear and also I feel like bed fishing is gonna be awesome at that lake because it's pretty shallow by the bank and the water's pretty clear so it's one of the top lakes that I'm gonna check out during bedding season and so hopefully you know we have a blast out there and like I said if you have any other lakes around Central Florida that y'all want me to check out anywhere in Florida doesn't have to be in Central Florida that y'all want to check out please leave them down below in the comments and I'll check it out for y'all guys I really appreciate you guys subscribing to the channel we're almost at 400 subscribers never thought that I would be able to hit 400 subscribers my main goal by the end of the year is to hit 500 I think we're able to hit that so like I said if you're new from the channel I'm just a local guy here in Central Florida fishing random lakes out here you know if you like enjoy fishing enjoy the boat content as well you know subscribe to the channel but that's pretty much it for today's video hopefully tomorrow morning i'm able to go fishing tomorrow's going to be saturday so my plan is to go to a random lake in central florida haven't decided yet i'm going to decide tonight and see what lake i'm going to fish tomorrow but that's pretty much it for today's video hopefully you enjoy the content i'll see you in the next one peace